The Paradox of Africa's Wealth and Poverty, a Legacy of Exploitation by Europe and the USA. Africa, often referred to as the richest continent due to its vast natural resources, stands in stark contrast to its current status as the world's poorest continent. For centuries, the exploitation of Africa's wealth by European colonial powers and, more recently, by the United States, has left deep scars on the continent's socio-economic fabric. This article delves into the historical context of Africa's exploitation and the role of Europe and the USA in siphoning off the continent's resources, which has perpetuated poverty and hindered the realization of Africa's true potential. Colonial Exploitation and Legacy the roots of Africa's poverty can be traced back to the era of colonialism when European powers partitioned the continent and plundered its abundant resources for their own gains. Countries like Belgium, Britain, France, Germany, Portugal and Spain exploited Africa's minerals, precious metals, timber and agricultural products, enriching themselves while leaving the local populations impoverished. The brutal and exploitative colonial policies resulted in the forced extraction of resources, the dispossession of land, and the enslavement of millions of Africans. The legacy of colonialism has deeply impacted Africa's governance, economic structures, and social dynamics, perpetuating poverty long after colonial rule ended. Neocolonialism and Economic Exploitation even after gaining independence, many African nations found themselves caught in the web of neocolonialism, where former colonial powers and global economic giants continue to exploit the continent's resources through economic dominance and unfair trade practices. The USA, in particular, played a significant role in supporting autocratic regimes and puppet governments, ensuring a steady flow of resources to benefit their own interests. Foreign corporations, with the backing of powerful Western nations, continued to exploit Africa's mineral wealth, often with little regard for environmental or social consequences. These exploitative practices have contributed to a cycle of poverty where the wealth generated from Africa's resources rarely benefits its own people. The resource curse and lack of diversification Another factor contributing to Africa's poverty is the resource curse, where nations overly dependent on a single natural resource are vulnerable to price fluctuations and external control. The extraction and export of primary commodities have hindered the development of diversified economies, leaving many African countries susceptible to global market forces and manipulations. Additionally, the absence of robust infrastructure, education, and healthcare systems has further perpetuated the cycle of poverty. The lack of investment in human capital has stifled innovation and development, leaving African nations trailing behind in the global economy. A call for empowerment and self-determination. The plight of Africa requires a collective global effort to address the historical injustices and ongoing exploitation it faces. The West, particularly Europe and the USA, must acknowledge their role in perpetuating Africa's poverty and take meaningful steps to rectify the situation. Africa's economic transformation calls for inclusive and equitable partnerships that prioritize the welfare of its people. Investments in education, healthcare, and infrastructure are crucial to empowering the youth and fostering sustainable development. Furthermore, fair trade practices, debt relief, and technology transfer can play a pivotal role in creating a more just and balanced economic relationship between Africa and the rest of the world. Conclusion Africa's paradox of wealth and poverty is a consequence of centuries of exploitation by Europe, the USA, and other global powers. The legacy of colonialism and neocolonialism continues to hinder the continent's progress, leaving it economically deprived despite its abundant natural resources. Addressing this issue demands a collaborative effort from both African nations and the global community. By embracing equitable partnerships and sustainable development practices, Africa can break free from the shackles of exploitation and emerge as a continent of prosperity, opportunity, and hope for its people. Only then can Africa reclaim its rightful place in the world and rewrite its narrative of wealth and poverty.